All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 19 minus two to the power of 18. So to solve, to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by rewriting 19 here as 18 plus one. So now I have two to the power of 18 plus one minus two to the power of 18. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, two to the power of 18 plus one, you can write that as two to the power of 18 times two to the power of one. And I have this minus two to the power of 18. So now from here, I can simply factor out two to the power of 18. So now I have two to the power of 18 times, now two to the power of 18 times two to the power of one divided by 18 or sorry, divided by two to the power of 18 is simply just two to the power of one. And now this minus, or sorry, negative two to the power of 18 divided by two to the power of 18 is simply negative one. Now, this is the same thing as two to the power of 18 times two to the power of one is two, two minus one is one. So two to the power of 18 times one, which is simply equal to two to the power of 18. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to simplify this to get the exact value of two to the power of 18. So two to the power of 18, this is the same thing as two to the power of nine to the power of two. And two to the power of nine, as most of you probably know, is 512. So this is the same thing as 512 to the power of two. Now 512 to the power of two, I can write as 500 plus 12 to the power of two. And this is the same thing as 500 plus 12 times 500 plus 12. So now to solve this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start by distributing 500. So I have 500 times 500, which is the same thing as 500 squared, plus 500 times 12. Plus, now I can distribute the 12. So I have 12 times 500 plus 12 times 12. So now 500 times 500, this is the same thing as 250,000. So I have this plus 500 times 12, this is the same thing as 6,000, plus again 6,000 plus 144. Now 6,000 plus 6,000 is 12,000, and 12,000 plus 250,000 is 262,000, so I have 262,000 and we can't figure out 144 then. So I have 262,144, so this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of four plus eight to the power of four. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start out by factoring out eight to the power of four. So now I have eight to the power of four times, well, eight to the power of four divided by eight to the power of four is one. So I have eight to the power of four times one plus one. Now, if I simplify those in the parentheses, I get eight to the power of four times two. One plus one is two. Now eight here, this is the same thing as two to the power of three. So if I replace eight with two to the power of three, I get two to the power of three to the power of four times two. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, two to the power of three to the power of four, that's gonna equal two to the power of three times four. And three times four, that's simply equal to 12. So I have two to the power of 12 times two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, two is the same thing as two to the power of one. So I have two to the power of 12 times two to the power of one, which is equal to two to the power of 12 plus one, which is equal to two to the power of 13. So this is my answer. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and simplify it. So we know that two to the power of 10, this is equal to 1024. 
So 2 to the power of 11, this is going to equal double of 1,024, which is 2,048. And 2 to the power of 12, this is double of 2,048, which is 4,096. So 2 to the power of 13, this is going to be double of 4,096, which is going to be 8,192. So 8,192 is my answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Alright, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2x, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, a to the power of m times n, this is also equal to a to the power of n times m, right? We could switch the order of these two. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And if these three are equal, then this means that a to the power of n to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of x is 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of x squared, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. So now on both sides, I'm going to divide by 2 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to x over 2 to the power of x which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x times 1 over x, these two cancel out. And again, these two cancel out, so I'll simply just be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to simply multiply both sides by 2. These two cancel out, so on my left-hand side, I have x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So x equals 4 is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So I know that x equals 4, so now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 4. Now I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so I have 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And because this is right, my solution is right. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem... 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So, to solve this, I'm going to first start by evaluating my terms. So we have 9 to the power of 900 and 9 to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So, the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of properties of exponents to do this. 
So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So, now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So, I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value, because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front, so I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8, and this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye.